as I stated before, C++ is like life in many ways, full of opportunity to grow, evolve, learn, and become better, filled with our best intentions and our greatest disappointments. But the reward for those who persevere, again, is a deeper understanding of what it is to evolve in the realm of the mind. And so, when we think about the concept of Hello World, that nascent software application that we build, that is our first steps into understanding a programming language or a software API, we are reminded of the fact that that is just the first steps. There are additional steps in the journey, and the best way to make progress and to move forward is one step at a time. Experience has shown that good shortcuts, useful shortcuts, are very rare. And the best way to grow and evolve is one step at a time. And if we are patient and we pace ourselves and we take smaller steps and occasionally safer big steps but with the space to move backwards when we need to, then we can grow in a much more reliable and durable way. And reliability and durability is one of the core themes here in that we're seeking an enduring process to create software. And sometimes it's good to pull ourselves away from the fads, the trends, the hype, and understand those elements that are timeless. The timeless way of creating software. You know, there was a architect long ago. His name is Christopher Alexander. He was, I believe he was Harvard's first PhD in architecture. But one thing's for sure, he had a huge impact on the software development community, a community that he was not an explicit part of. And the reason he had such a huge impact is the concepts that he developed in creating buildings, designing great experiences for humans to express themselves and engage with each other and coordinate activity in life are concepts that are not limited to buildings, physical buildings, and ships, and bridges. They're concepts that apply any time we build something, whether it's a garden, or if we're an accountant, we're building a better uh, ledger process, bookkeeping process, or we are working in facilities management, and we are creating a better process for maintaining order in sanitation or we are working in an industrial occupation where we are creating a better rate of production with and among our team. Creation is universal to human beings and sometimes in our society we tend to recognize some types of creation more than others, but all the types of creations are valid. We need them all in order to have the varied and full world and experience that we come to know. And so that's what this series is about, is understanding creation in its essential way from the standpoint of using a language in this case C++, and the tools that were demonstrated to 
create in a more focused way with fewer distractions and better results. And I hope that you have seen that we can take steps beyond Hello World and start to knock on the door of the universe and say that there is more here and there are more possibilities than we can ever imagine. We only need to have the faith that patience and good intentions and proper conduct in how we go about developing software will reap the benefits that we seek.